Hey everybody, I'm Charlie Smith. And I'm Eddie Rocks, and you're watching Sweet Daddy's Monster Jam. Right on. That's right. And this week we are interviewing a band called Johnny Octane. Now, Johnny Octane is uh, an awesome band. Their guitar player is a good friend with Jason Bible, who we just interviewed a few weeks back. Yeah, man. Yeah, Jason was a good musician. I J enjoyed that one, too. If Jason recommends him, he must be good. And uh, Walt Sowers is their lead singer. And I've known this guy since third grade. We actually went to school together since third grade. But I haven't seen him in 13 years because, of course, I've been living on the beautiful island of Oahu. And now I have returned and get to meet up with Walt. And But first, let's uh, hear a little bit more about the band, shall we? We shall. Johnny Octane started with drummer Jimmy Reisman and the guitarist Scott Snyder in Jimmy's garage in the summer of 2013. Scott placed a local ad and spread the word that the band was looking for a vocalist and a bass player. After a couple of months and many rehearsals, during that hot summer, a Roots rock band was formed. The band focuses on the sounds of jump blues, swing, early American rock, and surf music. They have been playing local venues, music halls, and private parties local to Savannah ever since that summer. The band consists of Savannah native Walt Sowers as lead vocal, drummer Jim Reisman from Pittsburgh, Dennis Gobah on bass, originally from Macon, Georgia who has performed in numerous local bands such as the Allison Fisher Trio, Savannah Rhythm and Blues Band, Sleepy LaBeef, and the Jimmy Walling Band, and guitarist Scott Snyder, originally from Maine. Scott started playing live in South Florida at various local blues jams before moving to Savannah, where he decided to form this working band. Hey everyone, I'm Charlie Smith and sitting alongside of me is an old friend of mine I went to high school with, Walt Sowers. How you doing, Walt? Doing well, thanks. It's a pleasure to see you, brother. Good to see you again, it's man. It's been a while, man. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about when you started playing, since high school or what? Uh, you know, I was first with a, a little soul R&B band probably about 10 years ago. I started with those guys and uh, we had a lot of fun doing it, but um, been with these guys, Johnny Octane for about three years now. Right on, man, so, that's yeah. awesome. It's a lot of fun, good hobby. Well, uh, where do you play at? Uh, all around town. We do uh, a couple of places out on Tybee, North Beach Grill, you know, Huckapoo's, and we do uh, World of Beer Savannah, the Jinx, you know, the normal stomping grounds. Right you know? on, man. Well, yeah. You know, I, I haven't had a chance to hear you guys yet, so I'm excited about it. So uh, what kind of style would you compare you guys to? Well, we, we like to call ourselves Roots Rock. Uh, we do a lot of rockabilly stuff, which is sort of a Roots Rock genre. Um, Elvis Presley, Gene Vincent, Eddie Cochran. Uh, I do a little Hank Williams Sr. Oh, wow. You Some know, stuff, man. So. Yeah, yeah. You. We enjoy it. It's a uh, it's the beginning of rock and roll. Um, you know, we're we're big historians on on music, and and uh, we think a lot of it's been forgotten. It's still good stuff. But, yeah, man. But sure rock has. and roll never dies. No, it doesn't, bro. You got that. <laughs> sure. So, Walt, what about uh, social media? Well, we have a Facebook page. You can get in touch with us there. You can message us. Um, please like the page, Johnny Octane, on Facebook. Um, we're real good about getting back to you very quickly. We do a lot of private parties and oh, right on, um, man. available to do anything you need from us on the weekends for sure. How about uh, originals? Do you so, do you write any music together? Work, we're working on a couple of originals. Um, we feel like we need to do that, kind of move forward. Cover music is pretty popular here in Savannah. Yes, it is. And um, it's kind of needed. We've got a, a big tourist trade here. And uh, people like to hear music that they're comfortable with. And uh, we feel like that the market sort of demands a, a lot of cover music, and that's kind of what we're trying to provide. You know, when we were growing up, the the big band swings uh, type music was mainly for like the middle to the older class people. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, it seems like it's reaching the younger generation. It seems like everybody sure. really likes the big band swing type music, man. Yep, that's I pretty agree. awesome. I agree. It's uh, everything's retro nowadays. Everybody likes the old stuff and. Um, seems like everybody, everything comes back around, you know. Yeah, right on. Well, listen, I want to thank you for your time, and uh, awesome to see you. And I appreciate you hear. guys. Yeah. yeah, man. Next up is Scott Snyder. We would like to thank Scott for being on our show. He is the guitar player for Johnny Octane. How you doing, Scott? Very good, sir. How you doing? It's a pleasure. All right. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself, man. How long have you been playing? Uh, I was a late bloomer. I started after I got out of the service. I was probably 23 years old, and an Army friend showed me uh, one pentatonic scale. He said, and it pretty much unlocked a lot of things for me. 
Um, so yeah, it's been about 20 years. I don't sound like I've been playing that long, but I'm kind of a meat and potatoes kind of a player. I hear you, man. There ain't nothing wrong with no meat and potatoes, man. So hey, what about uh, your style of music? You know, what, what, what do you compare your, you guys to? Well, basically a lot of people would like to say classic rock, but it's definitely not that. We all know what classic rock is nowadays. We've been <laughs> hearing it for 30 years on the, the, the commercial classic rock stations. Um, we wanted to go earlier than that. So. Our influences are from like late 40s jump blues and swing uh, on through the early and mid 50s when that turned into rock and roll or rockabilly. Um, then there were some subgenres shooting off of that, like surf from mm -hmm. the early 60s. Loved it actually. Um, yeah, and most of our most of our music is you know like I said from late 40s through the 50s and through maybe the mid 60s. We've got a couple of tunes that we play, a couple of covers that you know are outside of that. But basically, we call ourselves a roots rock band, and yeah. you know the roots of rock and roll. Awesome, man! That's yeah. cool. So, who's some of your inspirations? Uh, the first time I think that I can remember that I heard something that really got to me was I remember as I was probably eight or nine years old, and there was something on TV. It was either I saw them both separate occasions. It was either Chuck Berry or Elvis Presley, oh, right, and right. it was in black and white, and I was jumping around, and I didn't, I hadn't heard that kind of music before, and my mom said, you know, you like that kind of stuff, don't you? And I said, yeah, it was an involuntary, an involuntary reaction, really, and it's pretty much been, that's what I like is, you know, older American style rock and roll. Well, cool, man. You know, uh, uh, like we were talking earlier, I interviewed uh, viewed, uh, Jason Bobble a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, good friend. And uh, he mentioned uh, a lot of good things about you, man. So I'm really excited to hear you play, man. Well, I'll tell you something. Jason, uh, I, I moved to Savannah in 2006, and he and his wife were living uh, uh, in an apartment downstairs from mine. And he was packing up one night to go to a gig, and we became instant friends. And I was kind of a geek with a, a guitar equipment and amps and I started building pedals and I'd use him as a guinea pig. And uh, you know, a few years later, his band was opening up for B.B. King with four of my pedals. And here I'm still playing in the living room, you know? And so I decided that it was about time to break away from that and actually play for real. We're right on, we're glad to yeah. see it, man. I can't wait to see you play. Oh. It's been a pleasure to interview, man, and uh, get some of the other guys out here and you take it easy, man. You do the Peace same. Peace and love, brother. Thank you. Hey, and next on the show is Dennis Goldbach from Johnny Octane, the bass player. How you doing, Dennis? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. You too. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Heard a lot about you and, and the band, and uh, this is really exciting for us. First and foremost, I want to know how in the world you play that upright bass, man. That is so neat, man. Well, I, you know, it's just a progression. I start out on guitar like most people do, and then... Uh, just due to uh, the, 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 the laws of supply and demand, wound up on a bass and wound up playing a lot of bluegrass music. And bluegrass, of course, stand-up bass is kind of uh, yeah. expected in a lot of circles. Kind of picked it up from there, and uh, but I've always had interest in rock and roll and uh, I've never been exclusive to acoustic style music. Right, and right. Uh, I always really liked blues a lot. and. Uh, it's a classic country, and uh, when you mix those together, you kind of get rockabilly. So that's that's what I'm liking. You know? I hear you. Well, question: Did you ever know Jimmy Walling? Oh yeah, played with Jimmy for once, years. Once you mentioned bluegrass, man, he's an old friend of mine, man. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's a one heck of a banjo player, man. Yep, yep. Uh, we 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 played every bar in town at one time or another. It Let me guess, like, Billy Bob's, oh, yeah. River Street. Yep. Oh yeah. Now I remember you. I saw yeah. you playing with him down there before. That's right. This is so cool, man. This is yep. awesome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your style. Well, it's just uh, I'm a meat and potatoes bass player. I'm not real fancy. I. I uh, I just like to hold down the rhythm. We've got a, a small band, and uh, the uh, important things having having a good locked-in rhythm section. Bring out the stand-up bass for probably two-thirds of the stuff we do, and and a lot of it's uh, either like a Johnny Cash-style stuff or uh, old-school rockabilly, Carl Perkins, Stray Cats, that kind of thing. And, right on. And when you play that kind of music, a big part of it's the slap style stand-up bass. And, yeah, I was checking you out earlier. And, that's some uh, cool stuff, man. That's, that's a very physical thing, and it, it takes a while to get a hold of it, and I've still got a ways, long ways to go to be among a really accomplished slap-style player, but I got the fundamentals down, and uh, people like, good to, me like to see it, and they like to hear it. So. Yeah. Do you have any uh, favorite songs that you do, you guys do? we got a Stray Cat song called uh, Fishnet Stockings. We've got a one that's kind of a little bluesier that's uh, 
called Going Down to Big Mary's, picked up from the Paladins, which is a kind of a Americana blues rock band that used to tour and come through town occasionally. In fact, the, the, the first time I ever saw a stand-up bass in an electric rock style band was that band, The Paladin. We got a repertoire of some interesting stuff. Some is very obscure and, right and on, some is everybody knows as soon as they hear it. So on the original music, Dennis, uh, is it, are, are they ready to, do you have them ready or are you in the process of making them? Uh, we, we're a good ways from having them stage worthy. We got some lyrics and some riff ideas and that sort of thing. But uh, right now we just mostly have been putting ourselves towards getting a wide and diverse and longer set list. We're, we're getting there on the original stuff, but it's it's not on the front burner as much as the back burner right now, I'd say. I hear you. Well, Dennis, but, I want to thank you so much for being on the show. It is a pleasure and an honor, and I'm looking so forward to hearing you guys, well, man. It's a blessing, and just keep rocking on, brother. And sitting beside me now is Jim Reisman, the drummer for Johnny Octane. Jim, how you doing, brother? Good. Nice to meet Such you. Such a pleasure, man. It's an honor to see you, man. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, how long you been playing? I've been playing for about uh, 25 years. Oh, and, wow. Uh, I was playing on and off for a while, and then uh, I met Scott, the guitar player. Right on. Uh, we started, you know, started playing and uh, just found a good groove together. Right on. You know, we talked earlier, and I'd ask you this question, so I'll ask you on camera. What, uh, what were your inspirations? I love the old 50s style music, uh, rockabilly swing, and uh, we always just click together whenever we, you know, me and Scott play and Dennis and uh, Walt. It's just a joy to play with them guys and awesome. have a good time. Uh, recording. What about recording? What are you guys doing as far as recording? Uh, we recorded about a year ago. We got probably about four or five songs. They're on Facebook. So if you want, you can go to Johnny Octane on Facebook and uh, check out our recordings. Right on, man. That's awesome. So, Jim, what about future recordings? Uh, I'd like to get back in the studio probably in about six months from now and uh, maybe even start doing some like original, right? start writing our own stuff and uh, just see where it can take us. I hear you. From your view, what are some of your favorite songs that you guys do? I enjoy playing the, like the jump blues songs, the swing songs. Uh, right on, we, we play uh, the Carl Perkins songs, uh, blue suede shoes, just anything. It's getting getting everybody up and dancing. Right. I envy you, man. You get to play with a stand-up bass player. I bet that's pretty neat. Man. That's great. Yeah, because uh, there's not a whole lot of them around. Yeah. And uh, definitely, definitely brings out a different sound than everybody. Right on. You know? I'm looking forward to hearing you, man. Listen, it was a pleasure having you on the Sweet View. Peace and love, man, and uh, we'll be looking for you out there, man. Awesome, thank you. Well, that was great seeing Walt Sowers after all these yeah. years. I tell you, he hasn't changed too much at all. And, uh, and that's one of the good things about doing the show. You get to meet friends from from way back when. And, you know, I actually found Johnny Otane and Walt Sowers when I was living in Hawaii. That's right. That's the power of social media. I was all the way on Oahu living out there. Shock and abroad. I learned all about Johnny Otane from thousands of miles away. So if you have a van, you should get on the social media. If, if you're not right yet, on. you need to get out there. It doesn't matter, it's never too late to start. And you can catch uh, Walt and his band, Johnny Octane, on Facebook at the Facebook that we're listing here at the bottom of the page. And um, we encourage you to go out there and see these bands live. You can learn all about where they're playing on social media, on the Reverb Nation, and all the different access that you can find on the internet. And so we're, we're encouraging you to um, continue to watch our show. Uh, next week, uh, Charlie, uh, myself, and uh, Will Griffiths will be back with yet another show. And we will kick, kick the, the bobo. bobo.